It started with an argument at approximately 2.30 a.m. An off-duty Tyler Peterson entered the apartment building at 203 North Hazeldale, apartment B. An argument ensued between Peterson and Jordan Murray, in which he accused her of having a relationship with another person. The argument got heated, and Murray demanded he leave. Peterson left and returned minutes later. He was an armed with an AR-15 rifle, the kind of rifle Peterson was issued by the Forest County Sheriff's Department for his duties as a member of the Forest County Special Emergency Response Team. The precise chain of events in the apartment is still unclear, but we know that Peterson forcibly entered the apartment, breaking down the door. He didn't speak. He simply opened fire, killing six young people about to enter the prime of their lives and wounding another. Three bodies were found on or right next to the couch. Aaron Smith, Bradley Schultz, and Lindsey Stahl. Jordan Murray was found in the kitchen. Leanna Thomas was found in the bedroom closet. And Katrina McCorkle was found just outside the closet, both apparently attempting to hide from Peterson. After shooting the six victims, Peterson turned his sights on Charlie Neitzel, who was in the kitchen. Peterson shot him in the leg. Neitzel got up, reached out to Peterson, and continued to plead for Peterson to stop. Peterson then shot him again, causing Neitzel to fall. While on the ground, Neitzel was shot again, playing dead until Peterson left. Neitzel survived. By 2.47 a.m., patrolling Crandon police officer Greg Carter had heard the gunfire, reported it to dispatch, approached the building in his squad car to investigate the source. At approximately 2.48, Carter saw Peterson emerge from the apartment building. He saw that Peterson was going towards Peterson's truck, armed with an AR-15 rifle. Officer Carter lost visual contact for a moment with Peterson, and moments later, his squad car windshield burst, and Carter heard multiple rounds of gunfire. Carter put his car in reverse, backed away from the direction of the gunfire, and took cover behind a nearby building, gunfire ringing out the whole time. Carter immediately called the incident into dispatch. Officer Carter displayed a tremendous amount of bravery and intelligence during this trying time. He performed exactly as trained under these harrowing circumstances, saving his life. Having just turned 21 in July, Carter started with the Crandon Police Department in a part-time capacity in June of 2006, just shy of his 20th birthday. He started with the Crandon Police Department at the same time that Tyler Peterson started with the department and became a full-time Crandon officer in January 2007. Carter is also a part-time Forest County Sheriff's Deputy. We need officers like Greg Carter to serve and protect, to place their lives at risk for the safety of others. Officer Carter is here with us today, and I asked him to be here because during this time of great crisis, we need to know that we have police officials in the community and otherwise responding with bravery and exactly according to their training. Officer Carter, will you please stand up? So you can get an idea of the severity of what he went through, and so you can get an idea of how fortunate he is to be alive and how well he acted based upon his training. Officer Carter's squad car 
is going to be pulled out of the south end of the Forest County Sheriff's Department immediately following this press conference so that the public can see the damage done to this vehicle and have a better understanding of the risks Officer Carter took responding to the incident. Thank you, Officer. Thank you.